Hello and welcome to episode 33 of the Ozataz Bikepacking Adventure. Christian Ozatel moved on from the Blue Mounds out on the western fields of New South Wales towards the Victorian border to the outskirts of Melbourne City to where? We reached Tassie. So it was Devonport. Then we began our journey east through Port Sorrel towards Launceston and inland through Ben Lomond National Park out along through the forest towards Derby which would lead us to the east coast, the Bay of Fires, Wangas Bay, a misty walk on an island, Port Arthur and along to Bruny Island to spend Christmas by the beach which would lead us back to Hobart for some adventures. Then passing along, jumping into a few water sources to us through to the centre of Tassie, passing the Great Lakes and nice waterfalls to camp by, and along to the train line to camp. As the sun was shining on day 64, we woke from the train and jumped out of our bed for a brekkie cook up of the sausages from last night. Them up. Good morning, welcome to, I think, I don't know, day 65 or something. Had a nice little sleep on the train. And we're just cooking up some nice sausages from yesterday. So, yeah, good stuff. Ah, what a nice way to start off your day. Sausages and snacks on the train. A nice morning walk along the river with the sun softly shining through the trees and around to the dock of the river with the many animal statues. There was also a library for a charting session of the gear. Awesome. So that was a good library session. So we just got to charge up our uh, charge up our gear, plus put a bunch of stuff on social media and do other stuff. So yeah, awesome. So thanks so I think for letting me uh, charge up most of my gear, just the stuff I need for the next couple of days really. And sort of gave my legs a bit of a rest and just a bit of a chill. So right now we're gonna uh, look around here a little bit more and then we'll probably uh, do an afternoon ride. It's what I love that training is. Like, you can start at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, whatever, and still get to the same location you might have got. Then we said bye to the train and along the road down to the valley. First it was off, over the bridge and into the river, for a nice jump into the cooling river.
Then off towards Mole Creek, we went alongside the farmland with lots of Morty Cat Cows. Passing a few cool mailboxes. We stopped at a honey place to try some honey and pick up a gift. Then we turn up a road and a legend of a bloke gave me an icy pole. What a great kid. Last shot by Lobster Falls. Oh, oh yeah. This kid gave me an ice pole. Awesome, thanks so much. Oh, like legendary. Things that kid in the blue, blue, um, blue shirt back at his house back there. Oh, sure he's such a place. Yeah, done legendary. He just kind of said, here, got something for you. A nice clock, so thank you so much. Uh, that's really, that's really nice. Awesome. That's, I mean, you didn't ask me for, oh, I got an ice cream there, but nice clock. Mm. We have it now before it melts. That's oh, good. Mm. Also, the cool thing is, um, I took like a detour off the main, off the road. So, instead of uh, taking the second exit to get to this, look how I'm going to. I took the first exit just to get off, get off the road, but I was almost just going to go to the next exit, which is the main one. So, I decided to take this one, so. And as we went along a dirt road, lead us to a walk. To a flipping great lookout over the Allen Cliff State Reserve. That is a beautiful view. Oh wow, beautiful mate. Look at that.
and back on the road we got to Mole Creek to have a look around at an old hut and for the Tassie Tiger. Then we began the uphill from the valley floor as we wound our way up the spur along the road taking in the sun as it shined through the trees. So we rode along as the sun was slowly coming down as we arrived at Sheffield. Hey, um, it says here, um, uh, you can camp out the Yeah. Is that, uh, still... Yep, so you just need to do 50 jumping jacks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can get a Then we had a bevy with some wonderful guys who were doing a few walks around Tassie. Yep, I'll make all the... Ah yeah, just go around. Um, Right. 
Which one? Oh, um, uh, have, 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 uh, has got me a beer. <laughs> Oh yeah. This is not sure. Okay. Because a lot of people buy packs. Yeah. Maybe we will uh, sleep with uh, all the Tasmanian uh, rates, you know? It's just a Simon Rico. I don't know the, the end of the, of the story, but I think you have to, you have to give up, you have to go, go straight away and don't, uh, don't look at the end. Over here, I've got Cam set up in the back of the pub. I just went to the, went to the pub to just charge up a few things and um, so these two guys, they um, passed me as I was going to some steep hill with about oh, 40 or so cases for my ride and um, the same pub and yeah, gave me a few beers and stuff. Good stuff. Yeah. So here it is, it's day 65 of the bike packing adventure. Good morning. We sleep in the back of the pub here. So today, sort of an exciting day. Sadly, our solo journey will be coming to an end, not a Tasmanian journey. So, so today will just be a pretty chill day, going to head towards Devonport, and uh, yeah, just see what happens, sort of thing. But yeah, our solo type journey for this season, and, but I do plan to come back and do the rest of Tasmania. But uh, let's see. To cook up our brekkie with the last of the gas. Well, not the healthiest stuff, but I've got we packed up our bike and we were off. Okay, gear's all packed up onto the bike. That's just some extra little gifts and stuff and uh, put in the bin. Yeah, so let's uh, head on up. Making our way towards Devonport along the back roads. So passing the rocks alongside the roadside towards Nook. So passing dirt bike riders alongside the farms as the trees were beginning to spring up as we're getting closer to the outskirts of Devonport.
almost back in Devonport where our journey to Tasmania started. As we made our way into Devonport beside the river, it was happy, sad and awesome because we had actually achieved Ulster Taz. That's so awesome, but don't you worry, the adventure's not over yet, there's no big speech yet. journey hasn't ended really, to be honest, and it's fun as it's been an awesome journey to Tasmania, sort of around the east coast and lots of awesome people and good adventure, fun times, hard times, paved roads, dirt roads, good, so I've had good weather, sunny days, I've had a couple of rainy days and stuff, but it snowed, and awesome. And it's been a bloody great adventure. Fun stuff. Yeah, I just want to bring it all sort of around. Back to the table so that would be very good. So yeah. Fun. So almost to the library we went to give our gear a quick charge and have a look at what to do around Devonport for the afternoon. So we head for a swim on the rocky beach. Also Taz, there we go. Australia to Tasmania and then around the me sort of right like back to the Devonport. To the beach where we first come at and uh, I'll see I might camp I don't know, I might camp with those but yeah. But uh, how wonderful. Back at this beach.
It was time for some geocaching. We went on a hunt for at least 10 geocaches alongside the beach path. Geocaching and bike riding, bike touring when you're hungry. We then headed to Coles Beach for some dinner and a chat to one of our guests coming tomorrow. Beautiful. Yeah, oh, that's a nice wooden beach, isn't that? Yeah. Then we made our way to our camp spot for the final night of our solo bikepacking adventure in Tasmania. Camp spot 60 of the Oz Tires bikepacking adventure. Thank you. 
Next time on Oz Tabs, it's day 66 of the bikepacking adventure, so we meet up with our guests. After we finish up our solo adventure of Oz to Taz. Don't forget, adventure is just outside your door.